I don't know what's been going on lately, but there's a lot of producers who feel like their beats don't stink. Like every beat that they make is just super hot fire. But I'm here to tell you that most of them are probably trash. Bolo! Hey, before we get started, if you guys are having problems getting your drums to sound right in your beats, why don't you go ahead and go to my website and go ahead and get my drum kits. I have four drum kits on there. They are $9.99 a piece, and you can go ahead and get all four for less than $40. So go ahead and get my drum kits. You will definitely be satisfied, just like everybody else who has downloaded them. All right, go ahead and click that link in the description and go ahead and grab my drum kits. You might make some beats that don't suck. Well, at least the drums, at least. Let's go ahead and get to the video. All right, first off, I would be the biggest liar in the world if I told you that I am the number one best ever beat maker in the world because I am damn sure not. A lot of my beats that I make are pretty much trash. Like there's always those one, two, or three out of the 10 that really sound pretty decent, but the rest of them are pretty much trash. They are. But I understand that because I've been making beats for so long and I understand how this game works. That's why I've become successful because I've learned to accept that a lot of the stuff that I make are basically experimental beats and they're trash. And truth be told, a lot of the people actually pick some of the trash beats. Like, they'll pick them and make songs to them. But in all actuality, the, the songs come out being trash. But those two or three that are really good, they, they usually turn out to be some pretty good records. And that's what I have to base my whole career off of. I have to base my career off of basically 20%. 20% of what I make actually turns into good music, 20%. Now, the one thing I cannot wrap my head around is there is so many people, producers, musicians, whatever you want to call yourself, that feel like everything that they make is just fire. And then they send beats to me. A lot of these guys send beats to me. Sometimes they send a five pack, Sometimes they send a 10 pack and one guy the other day sent a 60 pack over. Like, for what? I'm not even going to listen to unsolicited stuff. I'm sorry. I would love to listen to you guys' beats, but it's so much unsolicited stuff comes through my email that there's no way I can listen to it. But yes, people send me beats. And if I do check it out, there's maybe one beat to me that I like. Now... Some of you guys may say, well, hey, Bolo, that's just your opinion. And guess what? You're damn right. It is my opinion. Because number one, music is subjective. So my opinion does not mean that the other 8 billion people on this earth believe with me. However, my opinion is my opinion. And usually... If I kind of don't like something, it usually kind of doesn't work because I've been through so many different experiences in this music game. Now, it's definitely subjective because what I might not like, 10 other people may like. But we have to think about it like this. Who are those other 10 people? Are these people who listen to tons of beats every day or are these people somebody who are not really in the game like that or maybe these people might not have a developed ear like that so you got to be careful who you're playing these beats for as well you got to be careful who you're playing your music for as well because some people just don't have developed ears to know what's good or not but yes it is still subjective but one thing i have learned is that if you send that 10 pack over, that 20 piece over, you might get about mm, two, three, four. That may work. And the crazy part about it is if you send that pack over to different people, it's a different two, three, or four. 
that somebody may get because we all have our differences of opinion. Now, I know you guys probably thinking I was going to go a different way with this, but I'm going to keep this 1000 for all of you producers out there who think that your stuff doesn't stink. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys know for what you think is really dope like that is not that dope. Even my stuff. I may go somewhere and play 10 beats in a room might look dead as I don't know what. But then I might come across that one or two and everybody's like, that's dope. And I may be thinking like, yo, my beats are hard. No, 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 no. I've already came to the conclusion that, that my stuff is not as hard as I think. Even some of the most seasoned producers out here, they think that every beat that they make is hard, but yeah, they have a lot of duds in them packs too. Like them first two or three might be hard, but everything else might be uh, a little duddy, a little mild. See, this is what I'm going to mess you guys up at. See, the problem is when you guys run into adversity, say for instance, if you think you have the hardest beats in the world or the hardest music in the world, and you hear somebody tell you that it's not that good or it's terrible, a lot of you guys stop. But the great ones keep going because we build off of negativity. A lot of you guys might hear somebody say your beat is trash and then you want to get mad at them. Damn, they want to fight them. But somebody like me, if they say, Bolo, that's not working, I'd be like, all right, cool. I need to work on that. But... A lot of you guys have egos that just cannot be changed. But if you're the type of person that lives off your ego, I'm telling you right now, this is definitely not the game for you. No sirree, buddy, not the game for you. See, the thing about this music game is, yes, it's very much ego driven once a lot of people get to that point. But the only problem is there's not a lot of people that survive a very long tenure in this game. Yeah, you might can get you a hit or two or three, and you might be all right, but to be in this thing for 15, 20, 30 years, it is very hard. It's very hard as a producer, singer, songwriter. Everybody has their moments, but only a few become iconic. But even the most iconic people can deliver some duds. But guess what they do? They keep going and they don't let their ego get the best of them. See, a lot of you guys have egos that get the best of you every single time. You damn near want to fight somebody if they don't agree with what you agree upon. That cannot happen. That's why I make the videos I make right now because they might be a little controversial, but it's true. And this is something that I talk about a lot in the studio as well. Even when the producers come over and they all over there rocking their heads, it might be five or six producers in there and they all might be playing beats. And they'll ask me, Bolo, what do you think about this? And I'll be like, mm, 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 mm. It's, it's not it. But you know what I do? I'll play some of my beats and I'll ask the guys, hey, what do you guys think about this? And they'll be like, nah, Bolo. That's not it. Do I sit there and cry and be like, oh, I'm Bolo. I've sold this many records. I went platinum this many times. How can you tell me? Because that's their opinion and they're allowed to have their opinion. And in some cases, their opinion is probably very much spot on. It's correct because I know for a fact, sometimes after I play some beats, I'm like, man, I shouldn't have probably played that one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you might go through after a while and be like, man, I was tripping back then. Like, I go back to some of the beats I made, like in 2009, 2010, and I play some of these beats that I thought was like the hardest stuff in the world. And I think now, like, even back then, they were terrible, and even now they're terrible. But yes, we all go through duds. I don't care who you are. You got a pack of duds. You got them. But the thing about it is, just because you might have a few beats or a few songs that may not be up to par, and somebody may tell you that it's not up to par, doesn't mean that you have to get defensive or doesn't mean you have to quit or stop or whatever you want to do. You got to keep going because we all got them. Everybody has them. Even the biggest producers in the world has some very mild, mid-grade trash yes we all do so for you guys who feel like every beat you ever made is the hardest beat in the world i, I understand the confidence but uh hey <laughs> let me take a listen and let me give you my opinion just don't just don't send it to my email i don't i don't need no more maybe maybe if i send you out and you might you know might want to play it right then and there maybe but don't don't send it to my email but let me know how you guys feel do you think all your beats sound that good? Or can you recognize that, yeah, I, I, I got some duds in there, but I'm still confident though. You guys let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. And I definitely want to respond to a lot of you guys in the comments section just to see how you guys feel. So hope this video was informative. Hope you guys learned something from it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I always say, peace out.